Welcome back to another bad business video. It's been a little while since I last made a video. This is either the 83rd or 84th video. I'm pretty sure it's the 83rd video I've ever made on bad business, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. But anyways, I'll get to that here in a second. Let's go ahead and talk about what's coming to bad business real fast. We're getting a new sniper called the SV98, and I'm in the PTR right now for a bad business, and that's just a test place basically for any of those of you who do not know. Right now, I have this as my setup. I just got this scope because we don't have the lightweight scope. Otherwise, I'd definitely be using that. I just want a sniper scope because the thing is, is I understand understand why people want to use red dots or they want to use the irons and all that but for me i like scopes man don't remove my sniper scope off my sniper please i like my scope obviously i'm just kidding but like you know i just i like the option of there being a sniper scope and iron sights when a sniper rifle releases at this point because both sides really like it it seems so there you go I'm using this Viper Barrel because, I, I don't know, that, this is my setup. I'm not going to get into why I'm using it. <laughs> I don't know if this entire video is going to be me on the PTR. I kind of doubt it, but there's a lot of changes I can cover that I haven't covered it since the last time I made a bad business video. And I didn't mean to do this in, on purpose where, like, I didn't play in a while. I was just doing Roblox variety content, and then I meant to come back to this every once in a while. But, uh, you know, th things get in the way sometimes. I mean, I got one kill with this at the very least. It feels really clean. I mean, of course, it's with the full setup right now, but... It feels really good so far. Look at that ADS speed too. Not bad. How is my uh, hip fire accuracy now with the setup as well? Hold on. I missed. I missed again. That's okay. I'm kind of trash at the game sometimes. Okay. There we go. Nice hit. All right. Hold on. I want to see the hip fire accuracy. Okay. Not bad. Actually, if I get the opponent as close to the crosshair as possible, I have a good chance of hitting the hip fire basically, which is really good for a sniper rifle. Especially for those who want a trick shot, this is this is this is a pretty solid trick shotting sniper. It's not good in terms of like being able to one shot people or anything like that, because you do have to hit your headshots. Ooh, I hit that. Don't knock me, please. I hit your right shield. I'm angry. Did I even hit your right shield? I don't even know what I hit right there, if I'm gonna be honest. But this is a really solid sniper rifle, to be honest. I'm glad that they're adding something like this. This is good feeling so far. I think when this sniper rifle first released, I don't know if they actually made it to where this was a one shot to torso. Because I saw that people were talking about it, and I don't know if they said anything about the sniper rifle being one shot torso. Of course, with it being in the PTR, it's going to get a lot of changes, so don't expect this to be the final product of this sniper rifle anyway. But, you know, it's it's still interesting nonetheless. I will hard scope all day long if I have to hit that shot, man. I do not care. So far, though, this is a really clean feeling sniper rifle. I'm really happy that they're adding new sniper rifles. But, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I still want my Bison, which is the PP19 or the TAR-21 revamped. Just saying. Wink, developer, wink. <laughs> no, I'm just biased because of my Modern Warfare days as well, to be honest with that. But I just love it so much, man. I am so bad with sniper rifles today. It's unbelievable. It's okay. I'll just heal. All right, and then we trick shot. I missed. We don't talk about it. Anyways, what I want to do, though, as well, is I don't want to just showcase this gun with all the with the whole setup on it, too. I want to actually remove all the attachments on it and show it for what it is with just straight up no attachments. And we can also check out the irons this way which it already seems like the irons are going to be looking pretty solid with this. Another thing that's actually new that's coming to bad business as well, which I find to be absolutely amazing, is that if you have any legendaries, you're going to be able to take the tracers from those legendaries and slap them onto any gun that you want. But you have to have the legendary before you slap on the tracer, of course. But yeah, the irons on this look not bad, actually. I like these irons, but like the... The irons seem a little bit far away from my face. Maybe that's because of my FOV, but look at that. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's it's like you, you can definitely hit some precision with this. It's just a little bit harder considering that, like, the iron is a little bit smaller than I'm used to on other, like, sites or other irons or... I, I don't know. I got that. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. I have no idea. I like it a lot, though. It's not bad. This is a really solid sniper rifle. It's just everyone else is just such a better sniper than me. Like, I just, I can't snipe in this game, man. But then again, I never advertise myself as a sniper or good at sniping. So I'm fine with it, man. I'm real. I really am. But one thing I want to get around to doing is I want to get around to doing the uh, uh, legendaries. Like, I want to cover the legendaries that recently came out for the P90 and the Magnum, as well as I want to cover the ray gun revamp because those things are new and I think they're really fascinating. This is also my first game of the day, and the first thing I'm doing is sniping. What am I doing with myself? I, that's the real problem right there. I decided of all things to do, I was like, you know what? We can snipe today. But then again, I don't do bad business content as much as I used to anymore. It's kind of sad, but it's, it is what it is. Okay, if that dude did not die when I wanted them to, I would have been really sad. Okay, hit marker. Are you trying to knife me? What's with you snipers getting really close to somebody, landing a hit marker, and then immediately swapping to a knife or a secondary? If you're so good at sniping, just follow it up with a second shot. Easy. You don't even have to reload. I mean, okay, I actually understand if you have to reload, but come on. 
If you don't have to reload, hit me. Man, the people who join the PTR just to run the sniper rifle with a right shield on their back make me sad. Although I definitely would probably be doing the same right now if I'm not lazy. Yeah, iron sights are a life changer for this. That was a nasty headshot. I will happily take that across the map. Nope, never mind. I missed those. SV98, I think is really solid so far though. I, I like it a lot. And also we didn't get to really look at the inspects or anything. So I'm definitely gonna check that out real quick as well. And let's get the default skin on it too. Cause it doesn't look bad at all. Also, you know, gotta, gotta rep the charm. Also, it said hello to me. What's up, King? Uh, I want to I want to admire these animations real fast. Okay, got some nice bolt there. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, reload. Oh, that looks good as well. Inspect it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. You know what? We're, we're, this is what we got to do. We'll get a live action version of getting the thumbnail. Okay, wait, hold on. Don't kill me, guys, please. Hold up. Don't kill me, please. Hold up. I don't even know if I got shot. I hit a hit marker. Did you heal in the middle of a sniper fight? Who does that? You're one of the most disgusting players I've ever went against in my entire life if you heal in the middle of a sniping fight like that. Come on, man. Not that I, I'm not saying that I wouldn't do it myself, but... <laughs> Listen, sometimes it's okay to be hypocritical. Okay, can you all get on my spawn real fast? I just really want to get there like a... You know what, here, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. All right, inspect. I can't hide all the UI. Ow, ow. You know what? It, it, it is what it is. Uh, uh, I'll inspect it while staring at enemies. Hopefully that was good enough for me to get a thumbnail. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're definitely just going to go ahead and hop on to the actual main game. Now that we had some fun with this beautiful SV-98, which I think is really solid so far. I'm really looking forward to playing with more sniper rifles, including this SV-98. And believe it or not, I've actually been playing a lot in my free time anyways. All right, here we are in the main game where I can actually talk about these two skins, Electric P90 and the Cyber 44 Magnum, which are both really well made. I mean, look at this 3D model for this gun. Or the legendary, I guess I should just say in general, because this is really well made and it's pretty like, uh, it, it's aesthetic. I like it a lot. I want to see more things like this. I don't know why, but I really like sci-fi looking things sometimes, which is again, what kind of the cyber, uh, does for the 44 Magnum as well. And these lights that come off of this Magnum, these are, so there's like six bullets in a Magnum, right? Every time that you fire a bullet, one of these lights goes out and then that's how you can keep track of your ammo and your Magnum. In another way, of course, you don't have to stare down your entire ammunition thing at the bottom right of your screen, which I think is fascinating. I love that a lot. So let's go ahead and use it. Uh, I don't know where I equipped it. Oh, I guess I equipped it here. This is what it looks like. Here we have the, uh, let's go ahead and go to that uh, cinematic mode again. There we go. All right, we have the tracer, which is the green there. That's the reload animation. Here's the iron sights for it. I, I call it iron sights because this comes with the legendary and it looks really good. Like that's genuinely one of the best optics I've seen. Look at that. Now, if we swap to the Magnum, we can talk about how th those, those six lights again, I'll fire three. One, two, three. That's so good. One more just to show it from the hip. And now look, I have two lights left on my Magnum. So if I fire one and then one more for the reload. Oh, it's so good. And those sounds too. So crispy, man. I love this. But yeah, those are the legendaries. We'll also probably check out the ray gun revamp a little bit as well. I just want to try to get a kill with each of these guns real fast. Okay, I mean, a 133 damage, I, I suppose I'll take it. Even though it's not what I wanted, I wanted a kill. That'd be nice if I could just drop somebody with this real fast. I'm sorry that I haven't made a lot of bad business content lately in general. It's, like I said earlier, it wasn't my intention to do so. It kind of just happened that way because I'm playing a lot of different Roblox games at the moment for my channel instead of just like one. Because I felt like sticking to one genre or one game was really going to limit me as a creator. And I just love playing video games, man. That's all I want to do. I just want to play video games for a living. That's why I even do YouTube. I really need to just practice hitting these shots and timing them perfectly that are like for like the single shot weapons or try to go for one digs or whatever you want to call it. Okay, okay, I got one kill with it. I got one kill with it. That's what I wanted. The sad part is, is that this is actually the second time I'm recording this video, and the first time I recorded it, which was yesterday, I was actually hitting a lot of shots with the Magnum. I didn't play with the sniper rifle because the sniper rifle wasn't out then, but I was actually hitting shots, you know? And now it feels bad because I'm not hitting anything like that. Am I one of the only people that likes to spam inspect while running around the map, by the way? Let me know if you guys do the same, and let me know why. Because for me, I feel like the reason why I do it is because it just puts my mind at ease and gives me something to do while I'm running around the map for some reason. I'll take that kill too, even though it wasn't like a flashy one. I want one good kill with this. I understand that my team is winning and we're basically spawn trapping them, but I want one good, solid, clean kill with this, please. That was almost a clean, solid one right there. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right, now I can get a kill with the P90 and then I'll be happy. <laughs> I think we could go to the ray gun afterwards. But I do love one digs. I love seeing people hit one digs because it's so flashy. And I love flashy things in any first person shooter because things being flashy look good, especially for content. Like, you know, I'm a content creator. I like flashy things. And that's what it's just what it is. Ooh, I love the P90. Regardless of the legendary, the P90 is just so good. Okay, I saw a dude down there on the bottom right. Hello? Okay, I guess my teammate might have gone him. 
Didn't know that there was a dude still there. But anyways, I feel like that's enough of the P90, the 44 Magnum, and talking about the SV98. But we also want to talk about this AUG A2 because this is actually going to get a revamp as well and then move from the SMG category to the assault rifle category, which I am definitely excited for. I cannot wait to grind with this AUG pretty much because it's just a solid gun overall right now, even without a revamp. So I can't wait to see what it's going to be like when it gets that revamp. Hopefully it's not going to be, you know, horrible because there is one gun that I feel like still kind of sucks, at least in its base form, and that's the G360. Let me know if you guys think I'm right or wrong about that in the comment section too. But the ray gun surprisingly got a revamp, which scares me because if we're getting special revamps, imagine what the icicle launcher is going to be like when it gets revamped. Although it seems to have some things. Did this get a revamp? I don't think this is a revamp. So like the icicle launcher and the hall blaster getting a revamp or even like the spell book or the snowball launcher, you know, if they're getting revamps, well, we're in for something interesting. Here's my set for the ray gun right now. We're going to be playing with that. Here's my set for the magnum. I didn't have much unlocked with it. And last but not least, let me go find that P90 again. And here it is. And then I can show you guys. Get out of the screen. And then we, I can show you guys my ray gun. Why my ray gun setup? I went, I wanted to show the P90. There we go. There's my P90 setup as well. Now I wait patiently. Oh, money. Don't vote infection, please. I wanted to use the ray gun. All right, right back. I'm server hopping. All right, here we have the ray gun. Ooh, that sound too is still so good. I wonder how the tracer is going to work on this gun though. Like imagine putting like a purple tracer on this, even though you fire green right now. Couldn't this also be a tracer, actually, if you think about it? I feel like this could be a tracer, too. I was inspecting my ray gun, jerk. <laughs> here we go. That's the ray gun revamp. I like this a lot, though. It looks really good. Hey, come over here. Yeah, don't run for me. You know what you did. Don't care if my aim was not the greatest right there. I'll be honest. Learning how to play it with the irons on the ray gun, which looked like this, and it looked really solid, by the way. It's a little bit hard for my brain to comprehend all the way. Okay, I'm going to heal real quick. I'm gonna be one of those guys that heals mid fight. I think they also healed healed mid. Uh, 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 uh. I think they also healed mid fight though, so it's okay. You stop running from this fight and just fight me. Why? What? You're not using your movement to be any better at the game. You're literally just running from the fight. What are you gonna do? Run from the fight until like I'm in the middle of like fighting three of you guys all at once? Is that what you're doing here? What is this? I I'm taking out all your team. Did the guy die to one of my teammates or what? what what's happening here? I, I'm seriously lost. Oh, you went up here? Where? Yeah, that's what you get. You know what you did. Oh, Pumpkin Man almost got me. Almost lost to Pumpkin Man. Hello? Oh my goodness. I. You know what? I did what I did for my team right there. I did what I needed. And I feel like that goes to show how good the ray gun is anyways, because I actually do like the ray gun quite a bit. But I've been recording for a while now, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to end this video. This video might be a long one, but it's been nice to come back and make a video on bad business. The last time I recorded, I actually scrapped that video, like I said, and the reason for it was because I didn't like the way that I acted during the video, because one of the things that content creators do is sometimes we accidentally put more energy into it. We're a little bit more fake, and I think it's because of it, like nervousness and also entertainment purposes. But one of the things I absolutely hated from my content is I hate being fake or putting on a different act than myself. I don't like putting on a persona. When it comes to my content, I just want to be myself. So that's why I scrapped the last video and I feel way better already about this recording. So hopefully this actually ends up in your feed for YouTube. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support on Bad Business. I know that I wasn't nice enough to continuously cover Bad Business like I probably should have been doing at least a little bit more often, but I'm doing my best. I, I want to do Roblox variety. So I'm doing Bad Business here and there where I feel like doing it. So without further ado, I can't wait to see all you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye